1967 when I met Connie in uh, South Carolina and went to see her in, in Sag Harbor. We continued to correspond and that uh, Thanksgiving time, I went back to Sag Harbor uh, to see her again uh, and had a very nice visit there with, with her and her family. Uh, here they are, uh, Connie and Nona and Gramp, um, behind the house on, on Main Street. Uh, Sag Harbor was in quite a different place in late November than what I had seen in the summertime. Of course, the trees are bare, and there are, are uh, a lot fewer people around than there had been in the summer. His view in the Main Street. There's the Whaling Museum across the street from her parents' house. Uh, seeing one of the residential streets. Here's the main street, from the foot of the main street by the flagpole. And here's the windmill and the wharf. It's quite different from how it looks today. These are some uh, views from around the cove. Certainly not the hustle and bustle that you see in the summertime. This is the beach near Joe and Vicky's house where we had gone to the beach and you have gone swimming in August. And this is standing at the ferry slip uh, looking across at Shelter Island. Uh, here's the ferry boat coming in and Shelter Island in the background. Uh, these are some scenes taken around Shelter Island. It's the first time I had, had been uh, on Shelter Island. That spring, Connie returned the favor and came to Miami to see me. Uh, my parents and I picked her up in Asheville, North Carolina. She came there on the bus. Uh, and then we drove back to Miami. On the way, we stopped here at the Biltmore Mansion near Asheville. These are some of Connie's pictures. been to the Biltmore Mansion a couple of times uh, and we had a, a little trip through the course through the mountains in North Carolina. Uh, this is in Central Florida. We had stopped to uh, have a picnic lunch. This was the first time that Connie had ever been in Central part of Florida and, and seen the, the orange groves or the citrus groves. Uh, this is a fishing trip uh, we made with Ron Bell and his boat. There's Ron on the right cleaning fish uh, I'm down in the boat uh, wearing the straw hat. I don't know who this is with their back to us. In the summer of 1968, I began my summer vacation by going back to Sag Harbor to see Connie again, and then went on uh, to some other places. Uh, later that summer, she decided that she would move to Miami and work there and she got a job in, in as a school librarian in one of our elementary schools. She had an apartment in this complex uh, in Perrine uh, alongside the US-1 and, and the railroad in South Dade. Uh, at that time I was living with my parents in their house on uh, Southwest 90th Court. This is a holiday gathering there in their dining room. There's my, my dad in the striped shirt and my mother uh, Ron Bell on the left in the striped shirt, uh, Marilyn Papke, his friend in front. Uh, I'm not real sure who the other folks are. This is one of the few pictures that I have taken inside, uh, taken inside that house. The house had a, uh, a uh, beautiful screened patio uh, in behind it with the patio and pool. My mother raised a lot of orchids. And uh, here she is tending some of her orchids. Out behind, out behind the house, beyond the screen, uh, there's an area that is, is pretty much natural vegetation. Uh, and then over behind the big cyclone fence, there was a city water plant. Uh, here are some of Mother's orchids. Uh, this is a picture Connie took. Um, the orchids in, in pots behind the little wire fence there is a fish pond uh, made from an old bathtub. Uh, 
Connie came and, and spent a lot of time with us uh, at the house. Uh, here she is holding my mother's cat, Rusty, the, the beautiful Persian cat who lived to be 18. Uh, and here's Connie by the pool, uh, relaxing. I think this is really in, in the later summer. Uh, and here she is again. Uh, one of the things that we did together was a trip to uh, uh, Everglades National Park in my car. This is on the road down to Flamingo. Uh, here I am on the boardwalk that goes out into the, into the mangrove uh, forest out by the bay. Uh, and here is one of Connie's pictures of the Everglades, of the, of the river of grass. And was, notice the young mangrove tree there in the, in the foreground. Another trip was to Fort Lauderdale with uh, Ron Bell and Marilyn to visit the Qu Queen Elizabeth, which was tied up there as a tourist attraction. You may remember that later on the Queen Elizabeth was moved to Hong Kong. Uh, when it got there, it uh, sank and burned uh, in, the, in the harbor of Hong Kong. But at this time in 1969, it was in Fort Lauderdale. Here's Connie and Marilyn and Ron by the ship's bell. And here's a picture Connie took of me. Uh, I guess that's the uh, windlass, I guess they call that thing behind me. Uh, the summer of 1969, Connie had a summer job uh, working for my father's good friend, Carl Olson, who was manager of the uh, Canada Dry bottling plant out along the Palmetto Expressway. And this is the factory. Later that summer, the end of the summer, she went back to Sag Harbor to visit the family. Uh, here's her mom and dad. Uh, on the porch, on the patio behind the house. Uh, this was apparently a family gathering. Uh, a lot of the, the uh, grandchildren are here. Here they are. There were nine. Nona and Grandpa had nine grandchildren at the time, and, and I think all nine of them are, are here seated around the table. And here's Nona by the weeping willow tree in the backyard. Here's a picture of uh, the house taken from out on Main Street. The house looks quite different today. Here's the backyard uh, with a willow tree back there. And there are some pictures uh, here that she took up and down the, the Main Street. Remember, this is the summer of 1969. Uh, this is by the library. This house uh, had been a wreck for many, many years. Uh, it was undergoing renovation at this time and has been a been a show place ever since, but at that time it was, uh, they were doing construction work on it. That fall, uh, she was back working again in Miami. One of the things that we did was to come together to uh, a professional conference in uh, Clearwater, and as part of that trip I brought her over to Tampa to Bush Gardens, and this is Bush Gardens uh, in 1969. This is the sky ride that they had at that time. It's quite different from the sky ride and the monorail that uh, they have now. Bush Gardens was really uh, much smaller and much less elaborate than it is today. Uh, they did have the bird show, was the bird show in the gardens really were their main attraction. It also was free. Uh, this scene is not too different from what you see today, except I think they have more birds. And uh, they did have uh, they did have the train at that time. And here it is. We also made a trip that fall to Atlanta. My folks were going to Atlanta on the way north to some other place. We went with them uh, on uh, the first leg of the trip and flew back to Miami so we could go back to work on Monday. This is the Atlanta skyline as it appeared then. Uh, as part of that trip, we went to Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain sculpture was not yet finished at that time. Uh, they're still working on it. Of course, it's been, it has been finished now. This is Christmas time of 1969. Connie went back to Sag Harbor. I didn't go with her. In this picture, you know, in Gramps' house, you see Gramp in the back, and there's John, and there's Lee by the table. She was pregnant with John Angelo at this time. And, of course, the little the little boys. As I see Steve and, and Michael and Matt. I hear the little girls. Uh, Anne Louise uh, holding Mary and Karen holding Alicia. This is in the stairway uh, of uh, Connie's folks' house on Main Street, uh, which was right in the front hallway. This is a Christmas, uh, looks like Christmas morning, I guess, at Joe and Lee's house. Uh, 
Joe and Lee and Matt and Tom and Anne Louise. Here's Gramp with the three children. And there's Nona with Anne Louise. And here's Alicia. Alicia holding one of her cats. Notice the expression on the cat. There's John and Doris's uh, children, Karen, uh, Alicia, and Steve, uh, sitting in front of their fireplace. And, and there's their whole family at, at John and Doris's house. This is at Joe and Vicky's house. Uh, I guess that's uh, Andrew on the floor with the train and, and Michael watching over here at the right. It's in, the, it's in that breezeway. Uh, here's uh, Joe and Vicky's whole family. February of 1970, Nona and Gramp uh, took a cruise to some of the islands going out of the Miami seaport. Here they are uh, in their deck chairs, uh, all set to take off. Uh, my mom and dad went down uh, with us to see them off. Here, here's Nona and Gramp in their in their stateroom. Uh, here's no, here's Gramp and my mother. Uh, I guess they're looking at the upper berth. And I don't know, Grant must have said something really funny here because my mother uh, was surely entertained by it. As the uh, ship sailed uh, out government cut, we, we watched from, uh, from the road there, uh, MacArthur Causeway. That summer, Connie went back to Sag Harbor for a while, but I called her and asked her to come back, and when she came back, I asked her to marry me. Uh, we had been together for quite a while. Uh, I don't know if she thought it was a fish story or not. Here she is cleaning some fish. But uh, she did say yes. Um, and we uh, moved ahead with plans, which had to be done rather quickly. We had a, an engagement party here uh, at my folks' house, There's, uh, which most of our friends came. There's Marilyn and, and uh, Jean Reese facing us, Ron Bell with his back to us. Uh, there's Marilyn and Ron and my mother. Uh, I guess it was a picnic sort of thing. Here's Connie again holding Rusty, and there's Ron Bell sitting by the pool. Uh, there's a whole group of people. This is, uh, on the right, is my dad's friend Carl Olson, who Connie had worked for uh, the previous summer. It looks like my mother's looking at Connie's ring. There's Carl and Jane Olson uh, with Connie and me.